morning. So today and throughout the rest of this week, there'll be tens of millions of people across the southeastern United States, places like Washington, D.C., Charlotte, North Carolina, Tampa, Florida, Nashville, Tennessee, and even right here in Atlanta, who will leave or maybe even return to their homes by taking their car or taking public transportation or cycling or maybe even carry themselves on foot if they want to perform some sort of activity for the day. And these activities can range from typing off their electric vehicles, whether they're at work or going to the Beltline or going to their favorite place to shop, or simply heating and cooling our offices when we're in a shared environment, or maybe even installing the solar panel, or if we're out and about at night, going to our favorite sporting event or concert with all the pyrotechnics to give us an exhilarating experience that use a bunch of, that use a bunch of energy. But we all think about this thing every single day. How can we create a more sustainable environment for ourselves, especially here in the South? Now, I'm not sure about anyone else, but I always think back to that 1995 Source Awards from Andre 3000, the Atlanta legend. The South got something to say. And I think we have something to say about what we want our sustainable development to look like five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. And this is where I come in as a program manager for National Lab Collaborations to support people like Dr. Valerie Thomas and to support the National Renewable Energy Labs in building a consortium where we have a community where researchers and where organizations can collaborate to build a sustainable future and to build an infrastructure for ourselves. And today, and in the next few days, you will be hearing some of what the South has to say. Um, I especially want to give a shout out to Beryl Takte, Bill Drummond, Marilyn Brown, Georgia Drawdown, and also to Oak Ridge National Lab, which has really stepped up to work with us and have a Southern view to what our sustainable solutions uh, will be. I also want to mention Roderick Jackson. He's a program manager at NREL, National Renewable Energy Laboratory, which is in Colorado. But Roderick is a Georgia Tech PhD grad, and he's also from Mississippi. And he is working strongly with us. And really, his idea is, and we've been talking about it, maybe there's a little bit different model in the South for how we're going to do sustainability. It's not just that we're going to do it, but it might be something that other regions, other places can look at. I am not giving you answers today. We are not giving you answers today. Roderick says, no, we want to ask people, what do you think? But just to say, you know, if you look at what's going on in the South, Manufacturing is a really strong portion of how we're doing sustainability. Really caring about jobs. Uh, we have people, uh, a long line of people like Ray C. Anderson in the South. I will even, I'm just going to whisper this. For manufacturing, this is a big deal. You might, you would probably be happy that I whispered this. Um, we notice and care about equity. We have working forests. We have a lot of forests. We have a commitment to rural areas. And we have culture. We have history some of the worst, some of the best. I think we can do something that's different. Absolutely, and if you're interested in being a part of that difference, we ask that you consider becoming a part of our community, whether you're a researcher, whether you're a nonprofit organization worker, whether you're an entrepreneur or just simply an advocate, we ask that you seriously consider becoming a part of what NREL and what Georgia Tech has going on with this partnership so that 
we can have a vocal saying what our sustainability looks like in Georgia because it's developing, but it's not on the radar, and we deserve to be on the radar. So that being said, thank you so much.